Okay then, so in this case I'm going to be wiring up my room into the fire alarm system. As you can see, I've got one wire. Purely because I've only managed to get one in at the moment. So one sec, let me just join these up. That's joined up there. So get the other end of the wire. So this over to the panel. Well, don't want to lose the screws. Or the metal panel for that matter. Alright, that's one screw lost. Where'd you go? Problem. I do have spares, but didn't really want to have to use a spare. It doesn't matter. Right, so zone two is where that capacitor is there. So just unscrew that. I'm going to be greeted with the lovely beeping of the fault indicator now. working properly. And in theory I should be met with it. So if I just put more wires through this grommet and into the terminal. Fault in zone two now, so I just have to whack a capacitor on the other end of the circuit. That being, of course, if I've wired my polarities right, I just keep that there. Where's my spares pack? Yeah. Get out of your screw. Let's put the panel into test mode, which I think, if I remember rightly, because I want to put it into silent test. So, I think I think. 
big silent test is. Where is it? Test. No, it's not here. Well, I think it's the free button anyway. So, shift free. Two. No, shift free one. Shift four. One. No, shift nine. I'll oh, turn shift three one. Shift five one. Five, that's on. <laughs> shift four one. Shift five one. Right. Just need to go put this on. At the other end. Got the magic baby. What's it to disable? Is it six and zero? I'll just pull the wire out. Um, there we go. That's disabled. <laughs> well, it works. Hmm, that'll do. 